All right, the Bears rounding out the season with a big loss in Green Bay. At least they're consistent. They started the way they ended, I should say, the way they started. And, of course, we're all hoping for a better outcome. But we say this a lot. There's always next season. Coach Dave Wanstead is here to break down all the highs and the lows. Good morning, Coach. Thanks for joining us here. A lot of missed opportunities, of course. Let's start with a simple but loaded question. Where did it all go wrong? Well, J.C., uh yeah, you know what? It uh, I think it, we did gain some momentum going into this last game, which is all positive stuff. There was a lot of improvement, which is all positive stuff. But I think this game yesterday against Green Bay, it kept our eyes open that we got a lot of work to do, uh, obviously, with the draft and with free agency and, and just within the organization itself. So uh, it was disappointing, absolutely, but it kind of keeps your eye focused on where we need to get to to kind of compete with the top teams. Look, I mean, obviously the record this year is better than it was last year, so you could see that as a sign of progress. So many question marks surrounding this team. So many uh, skeptics out there not sure what what this organization is going to do. Let's just start with the coaching here. Uh, do you see Coach Eberflus back for, uh, for another season next year? Uh, I'll tell you what, JC, 100%. And I'll tell you, there's an old expression. I've used it before. Good coaches lose games, but they never lose the locker room. Mm -hmm. And during that early bad stretch of the season, uh, we really, Flus did a great job, I think, of keeping the players together, the coaches together, and making improvements. You know, we had a lot of young guys on this football team, yeah. not just rookies, but veteran players that we brought in, Edwards, Edmonds, Sweat. And I thought the staff did a really good job of getting these guys all on the same page and getting them playing together and improving as the season went on. Coach, do you think this is uh, this was the last game for Fields as a, as a Bear? What do you think that the team does with the with Fields and in, in the draft? Well, here's here's where it's at. You you need to look at this thing and say, okay, I think we got a very good picture right now of what Justin Fields can do as a quarterback. And now you got to make a decision as a front office, Ryan mm -hmm. Poles. And as a coaching staff, is is this good enough to get us to the Super Bowl? And if it is, hey, let's go full speed ahead. But now, if you replace them, if you replace them and move on, yeah. okay, who, who's going to take his place, J.C.? And how are these guys, do you feel strong enough to stand on the table and bind on the, bind on the table and say, this guy is better than Justin yeah. and he can take us to the Super Bowl? That's really, it's a comparison thing. We know what Justin can do. Uh, some like it, some don't like it. But how does it compare to, someone's got to take his place. It's easy to say get rid of people. Yeah. But is somebody that you replace him with going to be better? That's the key. Hey, what does it say? Rex Grossman took us to the Super Bowl. So I think if you've got a good enough team to build around, you know, sometimes all you need is a game manager. Coach, I can't thank you enough for these conversations. You made my Mondays infinitely better. I hope we can continue them, and uh, we should definitely grab a beer here uh, during the draft so we can discuss the football uh, team here and the future of the Bears and hopefully talk about a Super Bowl soon. You will be seeing me. Tell everybody there I enjoyed the year, and, uh, yeah, it won't be long. We'll be, we'll be doing shows on the draft. That's right. won't be long until we're talking about it again. Coach, thanks so much for everything this season.